Hi, my name is Dominique Goven. My position is Channel Marketing Manager at Rockfan. In this session, I am going to lead you through the trends shaping the future of school buildings. To understand the trends that will define the architecture and design of modern schools, we need to learn first about the changing trends and developments in teaching and education. In the past, learning was one directional, with a strong focus on transporting knowledge and facts from the teacher to the student. Today, we have moved to a more Socratic way of learning. Teaching has become discussing through debates, learning by listening and learning by doing. The focus is less on facts, but more on what you do with these facts. The academic offering has moved from teacher-centric to learner-centric. This makes the creation of a student-focused environment to one of the main priorities for learning institutions. Students become more responsible themselves for their own learning. The teacher will act as a guide or facilitator in this process. School campuses will be digitally connected and students have more freedom in where, when and how they study. A good ICT infrastructure and a good building design quality form together the value proposition of a school towards prospective parents and students. Dr. Otto Seidel of the German Institute for School Development stated in 2009 that students or pupils basically have three teachers. First, their student colleagues. Secondly, the teacher or lecturer. And last but not least, the school building. Therefore, we need to take a deeper look in what the current trends in the educational domain mean for the construction and design of modern schools. The Oxford University building near London tells the story of a decent British school of a high level. School buildings and school designs will become more and more a reflection of the way education takes place in the building. The way of teaching affects the physical design of the school. Once the academic offering will change, buildings will need to be able to respond to that. The ease of reconfigurating spaces allows to halt different learning activities in the same room. Teachers and students can personalize the room to make it their own. This requires the design to show a high level of responsiveness. The visual experience and culture that an institution fosters is an integral part of the school experience today. It impacts how well students learn, socialize and will stimulate them in their imagination. Colors breathe life into spaces and often are used for branding purposes, for wayfinding or for differentiating spaces. Where classical classrooms were designed to lecture to 20 or 30 students seated at desks in a row, now the division is made in small groups of five or six who discuss a subject or team. Schools are encouraging gathering and mini communities in which each individual student is a key member of that community. Learning zones are created where students can talk, share different points of view and enjoy the time spent together. It is without saying that this way of teaching leads to high inquiries on the fields of acoustics. Schools take full advantage of their real estate by increasing the use of spaces in between classrooms and other learning facilities. Empty spaces such as hallways and lounges are now shared spaces for interconnection and interaction. Children mentally and physically benefit from healthy classrooms. Extensive use of daylight, clean air and good speech intelligibility contribute to productive and happy teachers and students that feel well. This leads to improved levels of concentration and performance.
no compromise may be made in measures taken to improve the air, the light, or the acoustical conditions. Today's students are avid advocates of the environment and are concerned about what impact their activities have on the planet. It makes sense to provide a learning environment that offers an overall Zen atmosphere, in which environmental friendly building products are used that contribute to BREEAM and well building standards. On top, biophilic design gains ground on the architectural scene, including natural elements in the interior or architectural design. Schools are spaces for the wider community where the general public can come in at any time. A cross-functional space in which lectures and events can be held, or the central library can be used by anyone. By allowing the space to be used throughout the day, owners will maximize the real estate to the optimum, and the space will contribute to a stronger relationship between the town or city and the school. At the moment of recording this session, the effects of the COVID-19 crisis on school design were not very clear. It can lead to minor design tweaks or to whole program shifts. For sure, the reduction of infection risks, the improvement of ventilation systems, the distribution of lockers over the full building, and learning from hygiene and cleanability measures as used in healthcare will be integral part of the new normal in school design. Maintenance costs will grow and physical distance rules can lead to space deficits, which will be filled by using underused spaces within the local community, such as community centers or libraries. My name is Dominique Gove. I thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed this session. If you feel the need to discuss the future of school design with us and explore how Rockfond can help you, please feel free to contact me or one of my colleagues in your local country. And do not forget to explore the other interesting stuff on Rockfond's website. Thank you.